Hi everyone, welcome to Wedra Studio. Today, we are going to talk about beryllium. So now let's get straight to it. Beryllium has a long history in the ancient world. It is believed that it was actually known to ancient Egyptians in the form of emerald and beryl. Beryllium was discovered in 1798 by the French chemist Louis Nicolas Vauquelin. The metal was isolated by two chemists, Friedrich Wohler from Germany and Antoine Bussy from France in 1828. The metal was originally known as glucinium, derived from the Greek word glykes, which means sweet to reflect its characteristic taste. However, the chemists also found that it is highly toxic and should therefore never be tasted. In 1957, the metal was officially named as beryllium after beryllos, the Greek name for the mineral beryl. Beryllium is the fourth element found on the periodic table. It has an atomic number of four. It has four protons, five neutrons, and four valence electrons. Beryllium is classified as an alkali earth metal. It is a steel gray metal that is solid but relatively soft and brittle at room temperature. It is the lightest metal among all alkaline earth metals. Beryllium has low density. On a weight to weight basis, beryllium is six times stiffer than steel with two thirds the density of aluminium. Among light metals, beryllium has the highest melting points of 1,287 degrees Celsius, as compared to other metals such as aluminium, 660 degrees Celsius, or calcium, 839 degrees Celsius. Beryllium is found in the Earth's crust, at 2 to 6 parts per million. It is a rare element that does not exist in pure form, but in compounds with other elements. It is found in about 30 mineral species, including bertrandite, beryl, chrysobryl, and phenocyte. The two primary commercial sources of ores are beryl and bertrandite. In normal conditions, beryllium forms a thin layer of hard oxide on its surface. The oxide layer protects the metal from further oxidation, even at 600 degrees Celsius, and prevents corrosion by concentrated nitric acid. Due to its lightweight instability in a wide range of temperatures, beryllium is used by aerospace industries in many structural components of the space shuttle. According to NASA, beryllium was the primary ingredient used to make mirrors in the James Webb Space Telescope. These mirror segments will not contract in the cold of space. Beryllium has excellent electrical conductivity, making it useful for electronic devices. It is used as semiconductor and transistors and other microelectronic components. Another interesting use of beryllium involves X-ray tubes. Because of its relative transparency to X-rays, beryllium is used as foils on X-ray radiation windows. Did you know that beryllium is used as a target for neutron production? When bombarded with 1 million alpha particles, helium nuclei, it produces 30 million neutrons. Beryllium is used to make brake discs for racing cars. Beryllium disc can withstand higher temperatures than a disc made of aluminium. Beryllium copper alloy is six times stronger than copper alone. It has a very high melting point, making it ideal for use in electrical switches and connectors. These alloys are also non-magnetic. They are useful for fine-tuning radio and radar systems where magnetic fields could cause problems. Nevertheless, airborne beryllium has been known to be highly toxic. Heavy exposure can cause incurable inflammation of the lungs called berylliasis or chronic beryllium disease CBD. Workers who handle beryllium compounds should wear protective gear and work in specially ventilated areas. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.